Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, we are going to configure a guest Wi-Fi network and the purpose of this is to set up a secure network and we don't want the device in the guest Wi-Fi network to be able to communicate with our LAN devices or the Lucy or the routers. And for this tutorial, I will be using the same router which is the DIRA4 tools. So first of all, let's go to the network interfaces and create a new network interface. So right here, we have the LAN interface, which has an IP address of 192.168.1.1. And we want to add a new one. So it will be guest. And for the protocol, it will be static IP. For the interface, we can just leave it blank. Hit create interface. On the IPv4 address that give it an IP address, so 192.168.2.1 for example, and the next mask will be 255.255.255.0. For the custom DNS server, I will give my own IP address, so it will be 1.1.1.1, which is the Cloudflare, and then a.a.a.a, which is the Google DNS. So we are good to go, and that's it. So Let's check it. Everything is good. For the physical setting, we can just leave it blank. For the firewall setting, we are going to create a new firewall zone. So I will put a custom name and guess and hit enter. For the DSCP server, click the setup GSCP server to turn on and that's it. So hit save and apply. Once we done, let's go to network and then wireless to assign our Wi-Fi to the new created interface, which is the guest interface. We have two radio, radio zeros and radio one, which is uh, the five gigahertz and two point four gigahertz. So I'm going to set up the guest Wi-Fi on the two point four. So first of all, let's enable the interface or the radio, and then click the edit button. So click the edit button and then for the name, I will add a uh, guest and for the network, select guest, which is our new interface for the wireless securities. I don't think we need to set up a password because it is a guest Wi-Fi, but if you need, you can specify WPA PF2 and give it a password just like this, but I will go with no password. On the advanced setting, we may enable the isolate clients if we want the device in the same guest Wi-Fi are unable to communicate with each other and I will go with that. So basically that's it, then click save and hit save and apply. Right now the Wi-Fi is assigned to our guest interface and the last step we want to do is to configure the firewall configuration. So let's go to network and then firewall. And if you take a look, you can see that the system had created a guest Wi-Fi zone because we have specified it in the interface creation. So click the edit button and for the input, we want to recheck it. And later on, we will do some wallet to allow the DNS and the DSCB, but the rest we can just block it. So it will be input so that the device in the guest firewall zone will not be able to communicate with Lucy or will not be able to communicate with 192.168.2.1 or .1.1 and for the output it will be a set and for the forward section it will be rechecked alright so for the allow forward to destination zone we want to select the one interface because we want the traffic from the guest firewall zone will be able to pass to the one firewall zone. So click save and then that's it. Oh, I'm sorry, I had mistakenly hit the save button, but it's fine. So on the firewall zone setting, it will be something like this from get to one, the forward daily enable and the input it reject, the output it accept and the forward it reject. All right, and then we need to add two more rules to wireless the DNS and DSCP and we just mentioned. 
So click the add button and then for the name it will be get the SCP and for the protocol it will be UDP and the ports will be 67. The source zone will be the guest firewall zone and the source port we can set it blank. The destination zone will be device or input and the destination port will be 67. All right, the action will be accept and hit save. And let's add a new one with the name of I guess DNS and the protocol it will be TCP or UDP and the sub zone will be guest and the designation zone it will be divine input and the port will be 33 the action will be accept and that's it so once we done hit save and apply So we have two traffic rules, which is the guest DSCP and guest DNS created. And on the general firewall zone, it will be something like this. Just in case you want to assign all the Wi-Fi to the guest zone, then you may need to go back to networks and then interfaces. And on this uh, guest interface, you can create a bridge interface so that you are able to assign more interface for example right here we have the 2.4 and this one is the 5 gigahertz so if you want to add more 2 or 3 or 4 radio to this guest wi-fi then you need to enable the bridge features for now we terminate it so we just go with this one all right so i think we are good to go and let's test them out this is my phone and it is connected to the guest OpenRT network and you can see just right here and this have an IP address of 192.168.2.162 So first of all, let's open the terminal and see if we are able to access to the internet Let's open the local terminals and then try to ping Google Com. We are able to ping Google, which means the internet connection is good. So let's try to ping Lucy. All right, you can see it say that the technician, and you can see the destination port unreachable, which means the connection to Lucy had been blocked and let me try to ping another device inside the LAN zone so let's try to ping RetroPie one of the device in my LAN interface so 192.168 a... oh I'm sorry 16a.1.209 and it is still the port unreachable which is good so finally, let's try and open Google Chrome and check them out. So right here, we are in the private mode. Let's go to google.com. Good, Google is good. And let's try to access 192.168.1.1. And it say this site can't be reached. And this proof that our new setup is working right. So far, we have set up guest Wi-Fi on OpenWRT. And I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. And if you see it, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And as always, if there are any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Bye-bye.